In this example, we are given four different sets A, B, C, and D, each written in inequalities using inequalities, and we're asked to represent these in interval notation. So starting with question A, um, let's write this out graphically. So if I were to graph this, here we have 5, and we are excluding 5, and including all values that are less than 5, strictly less than 5, and all values that are strictly bigger than 5. So uh, over here, we could denote the region in red as all values of x that are less than 5. And over here, we have all values of x that are bigger than 5. And we're going to take all x values that fall either in the red interval or in the blue interval. Uh, and so if we were to write this out using interval notation over here, I would write the red interval as all values not including 5 and below. The OR symbol, we use the union. And for the region in the interval in blue, I would start at on the left at 5 and go all the way up to positive infinity and out forever. So here is how we could represent that using uh, interval notation in part A. In part B, we need, uh, similarly, let's write this out on a number line. So here we have 5, and here we have 7. So we want to take all values that are less than or equal to 5. So we put a closed dot here and go over to the left. Or all values that are strictly bigger than 7. So in red, um, we could write this using interval notation as including 5 with a closed bracket all the way off to negative infinity. And since we have OR, we use the union symbol again. And now we exclude the 7 with an open parenthesis, and we go out to positive infinity. And here would be our interval notation uh, for the set in, in B. OK, coming over to C, here again we have an OR. So writing this on a number line, here's 4 and here's 2. So we first want to be sure that we include everything strictly less than 4. That's over here. Or values of x that are strictly bigger than 2. And so notice in, in part C that every value of x Uh, falls either on the red interval or the blue, right? And this is because every value of x uh, is either going to be less than 4, or it has to be greater than 2. So in other words, this includes all values. So everything from minus infinity up to positive infinity. So we would write all values of x as an interval that starts at minus infinity and ends at positive infinity with open parentheses on each of those. Okay, and lastly in part D we have a very similar set except now we just change the OR to an AND. And um, writing this on a number line we're gonna have the same sort of number line that we had in C. So namely we're gonna look at all values of X that are first strictly less than 4, and then all values of x 
that are strictly bigger than two. But when we have an or, excuse me, when we have the word and here, this means we're looking at the intersection. And this means we're looking at where these two in overlap. And so that would be this region right here. So this means um, this is going to be all values that are strictly bigger than 2 and strictly less than 4. Okay, and this here is representing an interval where both of the endpoints are excluded and it's not indicating a point. So although we have parentheses on both ends, this means we've excluded both of those endpoints from the interval, not that we're representing a point that has x value 2 and y value 4. So we need to be careful that um, we read this based on the context here. We're asked to represent a set of numbers in interval notation. So this represents the set from 2 to 4, excluding both of those endpoints.